beautiful location. I love the way the light as well is coming onto one side of the uh, cliff face here as well. So. I absolutely love it when a plan comes together. Mid-October, shouldn't be snowing right now. Wow! Look at this for an autumnal view. It's going to be my final shoot here in Wisconsin in autumn and I'm in Wisconsin Dells and let's go. We're going to go find a place called Pewitt's Nest, but first I'll show you what is the Wisconsin Dells. I've arrived here in Pewitt's Nest and it's a place that I visited uh, when I last was in Wisconsin around two years ago and in the autumn colors it's absolutely beautiful. Now it's past peak like I would have said earlier so the leaves have fallen from the trees but what that does do is it gives a lovely blanket across all of the different rocks that are here and what it is is another gorge but with a waterfall going through the gorge and if you watch my channel you know I love um, to shoot waterfalls but I could get none in my entire uh, almost two weeks here in the States mainly because where I'm located like I said in previous episodes is quite flat but here is part of the driftless zone so you have got these quite pronounced ridges there's water now running through that and then there's a waterfall as well below me there are two areas that you can go to the first area is up high where I am at the moment so I'm going to go down here slightly lower so I can look down on the waterfall and then the second is um, where the waterfall itself would come out through the end of the gorge with a bit of a calm water area in front of it. So looking forward to this, it's been two weeks since I've been able to shoot a waterfall properly. I did get one all right in the, um, the last, which is glutch, glutch, pronunciation is off, but anyhow. Um, but this one now it's open, so it's not underneath any canopy and it hasn't been developed like the, like the previous one that I was in. So. Let's go, let's go exploring and we'll see what kind of shot I can get from here. I'm looking forward to this one. I'm at the higher up part right now and seems to be a quite a popular spot where I'm actually got the camera set up but it makes sense because it gives you the best viewpoint in regards to the cascades that are here in front of me but you can see the scene is um, either side you've got this beautiful formation in regards to rocks you've got all these leaves that have fallen as well I'm using the polarizer because I want to take what small bit of glare that is there out of the water plus I want to be able to enhance the um, the colors that are there on the uh, the leaves that have fallen on the other side of these cliffs that are here as well um, I've got my 0.9 grad on just because the Sun is coming up over on the right hand side here so there's no light going into the actual cavern itself but from this, the tree line that's above that it will be in the frame of the shot I want to make sure that I just control that as well I've got a two second timer at the moment and I'm shooting here at 3.2 seconds and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take three separate uh, exposures from a focus point of view. So I'm going to focus one below me, 
one in the center and one in the far distance and then I'll blend the three of those images together so that I know then I'm going to be sharp the whole way through the image but what a beautiful spot um, when I was here uh, a couple of years ago there was actually people in swimming but it seems that they've kind of closed off a lot of the areas now as well so I don't know if you can actually do that anymore but it's a beautiful location I love the way the light as well is coming onto one side of the uh, cliff face here as well so we'll grab the shot and then we'll go down below uh, to the other area and I'll take a shot then looking through the cavern at the waterfall that we see right below me here I've decided to go down low here because I want to try and get some of these uh, leaves that are here in the water so kind of ties it in with the autumnal uh, feel. I'm finding though that it's proving to be a challenging shot because number one I need to do a long exposure to enable me to be able to get out the detail because it's quite dark there's no direct light it's in the shade obviously. When I'm doing the longer exposure then I'm getting movement in the leaves so what I'm going to try and do is really something I've never done before. So I'm gonna take one shot for the leaves and I'm gonna shoot that at a very fast shutter speed to try and capture that and focus on that so it's not blurred. Then I'm gonna take a separate shot as I normally would for the bit of longer exposure on three and a half seconds. That will give me some movement that's in the um, cascade that you can just see in the center of the frame. And then another short shot as well to be able to manage the light that's above here because the sun now is shining directly in and lighting up the trees quite nicely above but obviously from the center it's hard to expose. This has been um, a really really good trip. I've really enjoyed the I suppose the vast variousness, very variousness of the different scenes that I've shot while I've been here from when I was up in Door County and those beautiful colors exploding to muted colors and then here I'm at the end of the autumnal colors. Uh, the different scenes that I found and it really was a great adventure. I hope you enjoy traveling with me This would be my last shoot now for this um, Adventure in 2018 in Wisconsin for the autumn uh, It's been really good. I've learned a lot actually in regards to taking photos because it's had to challenge myself I've used pretty much all of my equipment that I brought with me I wasn't sure whether to bring the drone or not, but I'm happy that I did. I got some nice drone footage as well. And uh, I really do hope that you have enjoyed this series with me. From here now, I go back to Ireland again, and it's back to Irish shores and Irish soil, and I'm looking forward again to uh, going on adventures there. And I do hope that you can come with me. So, as always, thanks very much. Hit that subscribe button if it's your first time on the channel. Give me a like, give me a comment. Let me know what you enjoyed about this episode or any of the episodes within the series that I've done here uh, in Wisconsin. But for now, for autumn, which is now finished in Wisconsin, thank you very much and Schlange Fall.
as I leave Wisconsin, I'm thinking not only about what I photographed, but also what I've yet to create. I've never created a series of this size before. Did my audio record? Were my shots in focus? Did I expose the video clips correctly? And most importantly, how would my photos be? Now that I've created, processed, edited and published, I think overall my trip was a success. My quest to chase the autumn colours was exactly that. I didn't always hit the best spots at the best time, nor did I always get the best light and the best photos possible. But what I did manage to capture were many good memories while exploring and made me hungry for more. Thank you very much for coming on my journey with me. I do hope that you can make the next one. Schlange voll Amerika.